Are you ready? There you are. I think this was about four years ago. <laughs> She might be the one in more than liking The rest is still yet to come I think she likes me Maybe even might be the <laughs> You know, you have become such a big part of our, uh, our life And we, you know, hopefully we can see you more often um, and we just want to make you um, oh. a, a crew member. Oh, guys, this is awesome. This Beanie Petty. Crew. Oh, crew, it's, okay. It's, it's signed by us. Roots made it. Roots, good quality. Yeah, it quality is good style. quality. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll hang on to this. And this, this is... is uh, this is a newsletter, one of our newsletters. You guys are Nana. huge That's now. Right. What was the big... When did it really start to work for you guys? When did you notice that you went from, you know, a, some attention, some attention to, like, you know, there's a moment when it goes blip. Do you remember think, when that was? I think we, uh, when we first went to Europe, we went to Germany for a few months, about six months, and, and that's when we first really experienced, I guess, you know, that craziness, that new kids on the block experience and stuff like that. So it was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. And so we were playing in front of like 12, 15,000 people, and it was just really loud. That, that was probably the first experience that we had, that it just, the girls were screaming throughout the whole And we're, we're actually, um, on the 24th of March, we start a Canadian tour, and it goes so <laughs> It goes till the 11th of April, and so we're, you're getting ready, uh, getting prepared for that, and so make sure you all stop by if you're in town. Now, you guys started out in country, but there was a time when, as you grew up, you, your heart and your soul kind of went to rock and roll, but do you remember the time when you guys, like, sat down and, and said, okay, look, we got to change this, we, we're going another way here? Well, it wasn't, it, was it right wasn't after. our last tour that we did across yeah. America. We, uh, we were playing with our band, and the, the band was playing behind us, and we, we, we did like what, we, what you saw on TV. We were dancing, doing the line dances. <laughs> and we decided we want to play instruments. We want to do the whole show, take it in our own hands. And, um, you know, and uh, we worked but the whole show up. musically, it just, it didn't go just like that. I mean, gradually it went from more of a, a country to more of a rock pop. You're, you, uh, I read that you uh, met Garth Brooks in an airport somewhere, and he was talking to your dad. Your uh, mom and stepmom were here, Frank and Sheila. Mm -hmm. Gar what did Garth Brooks say to you about the music? Is it correct what I read? Well, uh, you know, the one thing that Garth said was that he felt that the boys needed to change over to that music so that it would... Uh, Didn't he say, uh, if I was that young playing country instead of rock and roll, I'd be a little P.O.'d myself? Well, he, <laughs> he felt that if I was hol if the dad was holding them back, then he would be a little P.O.'d at the dad, actually. Ah, okay. You know? And so, uh, but he, uh, he, he agreed that they should branch out into a music that would allow them to take them around the world. She's nice to get advice from Garth Brooks. Yeah. Amen? That's yeah. too cool. We're going to take a break. We're back with the Moffats in just a second. I, well on their way to being an international, worldwide uh, sensation. They're selling so many records. What do you guys think of this, Dad? I mean, when you look at your four sons at this age, what do you think as a man? When, well, when they were younger, I, I said to them, you know, that it was really important that they didn't compete with any other artists, but that they were as good as every other artist. And I think that the one thing that the boys provide in young bands right now that a lot of young bands don't provide is that they play real instruments and i think that that's good for the music in general and i think that other kids can now be inspired not to be like them but to be right. not better than them or anything or challenge them or anything right. but to to play music like them you know we're so. all in grade nine uh and wh when do we write exams like how do you fit this into your schedule they send them to you um, in uh, the philippines or no, yeah. we uh we homeschool actually and our curriculum comes out of uh, victoria british columbia and uh, what we do is we bring books on the road with us. And uh, our stepmother and our dad both split subjects and they both teach us. And we just kind of like, when we write our tests, we send them to the, uh, the school and they, they grade it. You've got to have a really full schedule between the mm -hmm. traveling. Yeah. I mean, they've got 100,000 miles alone on Lufthansa. Between the traveling, the performing, the practicing, the writing, the creating, trying to do school, you don't have a lot of spare time. Um, no, no, not a lot, but... Uh, we try and make time just to relax sometimes. We're going, on, going for a holiday in the next few weeks or something. What's, your, what's your idea of relaxing? We do, what, uh, what, what would you, what's a perfect relaxing thing for you? We'd say... Playing guitar. Playing guitar, yeah. okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, sitting uh, on the beach, I guess. Yeah, just vegging yeah. out the beach. Vegging out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same yeah. for me. Are we, uh, do we, are we into any sports here that we all play? Oh, yeah. 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 We love sports. We're soccer, uh, American football. Golf? Are we hockey, golfers hockey, here? Hockey, hockey, hockey. We go 
Yeah. Glenn Ballard is a man who produced Alanis Morissette and Aerosmith, and, Aerosmith and produced your album. Yeah. He that, produced yeah. several of the songs on the album. And actually, not on this album, but he produced four of the songs that would be re-released in the next few months, actually, June 8th. And uh, actually, there's going to be a song called uh, Until You Love Me. And it was the title song for Drew Barrymore's new movie, Un Never Been Kissed. And so, check that out. It's a great movie. We saw it. Very good. You're happy. Yeah. Um, television has called. They wanted you guys to star in a sitcom, but no, you've decided that music is really where you want to go. Where do you want to see yourself, okay? And so you're 15, so you're tw let's just go flip forward in time. You're now all 21. Tell me where you are in the world. Where does, it, where does your dream take you? Um, uh, touring all over the world. You're yeah. still in a band? Oh, yeah. 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 You're still touring the world? Yeah, touring the world, making albums. God, you're on album number 25 by then. Well, You've we, got a ways to go, eh? Hopefully we'll have a greatest hits by then. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, still doing the same thing. I mean, that's, that's yeah. a long ways away. Who, who are you listening to? What kind of music are you listening to now? Well, my favorite band is Aerosmith. Right. And yeah. Bob's favorite band is... Aerosmith, Aerosmith. Radiohead. As a matter of fact, I like Brian Adams. He's from the end. Okay. Brian Adams. So you start your tour of Canada, and you said the 26th of March, did I hear? Uh, no, 24th. Uh, 24th. 24th of March? Yeah. And then Nanaimo. After? It goes, it goes from Nana Nanaimo to Halifax, just right across the Wow, you're doing the whole country. Yes. Then where are we off to? Then we're doing promo from all over the East Coast of the U.S., all the way back to the West Coast. How far ahead is your world plan now, your life? Do you know what you're doing a year from now? Yeah, we have a, we have a pretty pretty schedule. Yeah. That's how I mean, it's always changing. That's how we have Sheila, our stepmother. She keeps us on time. Because, you know, yeah. we're... A mother's job, right, Sheila? I'll make sure you get there on time, boys. Comb your hair, brush your teeth. Yeah. We can we don't have, that. Yeah, we can manage with that. <laughs> the laundry. There okay. are girls in the audience screaming. There are girls showing up at the hotel. There are girls <laughs> screaming in the audience. How do you guys manage all that? Do you ever manage to get a date in anywhere? <laughs> a um, date? A date? Yeah, date. We try to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A what? date? What a is date? that? What is that? Um, no, actually, yeah. Um, so you don't have girlfriends? No, we're all single. single. We're all single. <laughs> okay. They're single, they're available, and they are uh, awesomely talented, and uh, they're Canadian. You are great. Much success and Thank happiness, guys. Keep going. Much.